Welcome to the shop everyone. On today's video we're going to be taking that ignition system that we bought for that 454 big block build and running it through some tests. Yeah, we're going to rev this thing up to real high RPMs and see how it performs. We're going to hook the Petronix ignition system that we put in that old distributor up to the oscilloscope and see what kind of trigger wave it gives. The MSD street fire ignition, we're going to check out the rev limiter where it cuts the plugs off and also that blinking trouble code light. It's got like a blinking LED for trouble codes. Then also the electronic noise these systems put out. So high voltage systems put out a lot of noise. So we're going to look at that a little bit there at the end. Alright, so got this thing hooked up to the oscilloscope. And uh, the oscilloscope basically you're going to see, see how it went up just a little bit? All electronic devices leak a little bit of voltage. But as I turn it and those magnets go around, it's actually going a high, low, high, low. And actually when the motor's running, it's doing the same thing. So now I have it set at maybe, I don't know, 100 RPM, something like that. So we're seeing the trigger wave that's coming off that Petronix ignition system to the street fire system. And you'll notice as I rev it up, how the square wave gets skinnier. The potential, the voltage stays the same, but less time. So that's only about a thousand RPMs. It's firing on right there. I'm gonna slow it down and you'll see the wave getting wider and wider. And that flashing light. So the lower the RPM, see when it's revved up, you can't tell the light's flashing, but at low RPM, you can see it flashing. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna kinda of explain the oscilloscope a little bit to you guys who might not have been, not, might not be used to one. All right, so the horizontal is the time base. So I have it set on five milliseconds and uh, vertical is the amplitude or amplifier and it's set at five volts. So as you see, as I run the RPM up and down, the time base gets smaller. It's the same time base, but there's just less time on that trigger wave. So as we rev it up, the trigger wave gets smaller and smaller. As we slow it down, the trigger wave gets wider and wider. So it basically takes 1,000 milliseconds to make one second. That's how fast that stuff's really moving. So pretty interesting there. All right, so the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to try out the rev limiter on this thing. I've never got to do this before. So first I'm gonna set this thing up at about 2,500 RPMs. So that one's for 100 RPMs, the other one's for 1,000. And let's see where it cuts the plugs out at. So I turned the lights off so we can see the spark a little bit better. All right. So we're revving it up, revving it up. Two thousand. Okay. So you can see it right past twenty five hundred. You'll see the spark plug turning off. Not all at once. Sometimes if you sneak up on it, not all of them are turning off. And another thing I noticed, uh, just so you guys know, my eye sees the sparks better than the camera, so I'm not sure if it's a filming thing, but sometimes you don't see a spark, but with the eye you do, so it's interesting. I'm not sure you know, the camera picks everything up. So this time we're gonna test it out at 5,000 RPM. Just gonna rev that thing up, see how it does. Four thousand, so we're past twenty-five hundred. Over to five, there it turns off. So it's a, a little bit above five thousand RPMs where it starts cutting the power off. So a little bit at a time. You see some of them, a few of them cut back. All right, pretty neat. All right, so this time I'm going to set it up for seventy-five hundred RPMs. We're going to rev that thing out. See how it works up there. All right, five, 
55, 65. Oh, there it goes out. So it, it's pretty close to 75. Uh, a little bit past. So I guess if you really want your car to shut off at a certain RPM, you might want to set it a little bit sooner. So you might want to set it at instead of 75, you want to 75, you might want to set it at, I don't know, 72 or something like that. So yeah, seems to work really good. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is start, it's kind of like the LED light. And one thing I noticed, how that little red LED lights. So, say your car won't start up, you know, it's cranking over. Uh, that light there should be flashing. So, since at low RPMs, it flashes. And so that will tell you that that part of the ignition system is working. And so it's sort of like a, I don't know, it helps you troubleshoot it. But as the RPMs go up, it turns solid. So anyways, say your car wouldn't crank, but you see that light flashing, you know that part of your system is working. So you know your distributor's probably working, and you know the street fire is probably working. You know, the MSD system. So now the next thing is, is it, you know, it talks about in the directions that at certain voltages the system will cut off and uh, I put a battery on here that drains pretty quickly doesn't have a lot of power in it and so I'm just sort of running it here uh, letting it drain down and we're going to try to see at what voltage it does cut the spark out and kind of what kind of a, a flash if any that the trouble code gives us all right, I see it dropping pretty quick. All right, power cut off, blink, and it cut off. Let's watch it one more time a little bit closer. So the light's on, and I don't know, it dropped pretty quick there. But I turned the power back on so I had a good supply again, and then the power came back right on and the uh, spark plugs were firing like they were supposed to. Interesting. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is, man, some of this noise, uh, this high vol voltage pulse is put out. Uh, what you're seeing on the oscilloscope, like I say, I have each one of those squares set at five volts. Now, I'm not gonna hook this wire up to anything. I'm just gonna lay it over the spark plug. And see all that noise that we're picking up? And if those squares are each five volts each, you can see how high some of those spikes are. So I know in industry we used to fight false spikes as far as you know PLCs and stuff like that. So I don't know if stuff like that could hurt a car, you know, as far as how the cars with the computer control stuff like that but it's just something to think about and be aware of when you're routing wires for things and for sensors so here I'm not even gonna hook get it close to the wires I'm gonna hook it up to this brass uh, shaft that I have or brass rod I have and it's like an antenna and it's picking it up just in the airways wow huh so also I uh, am radio is a great way to pick up sparks now I'm just going to turn the ignition system off. No interference, interference. So I, that's just something to be aware of. Is those high voltage pulses create a lot of electronic noise, and with all these computer controlled things that most people are using this day, uh, it's just a good, good thing to be aware of when routing your wiring for sensors and stuff keep it away from that stuff well as always we sure hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you did please give us that like it helps us out a lot uh, subscribe if you'd like to and as always we appreciate you guys so much for watching and we always hope to see y'all on the next video thanks so much